with 46 people in my graduating class at Crosby High School in Texas, uh, everybody was required, every male was required to be on the football team. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had a football team. And e even then, I was the third string quarterback, being a skinny musician back then. And, but one of the things that was, that we, uh, was a ritual is that after football practice, uh, we knew where to buy beer. So we would cruise around in cars and drink beer and be hooligans, basically, and endanger everybody else on the road. And one of the things we fell into was pulling up stop signs. You know, get four boys on a stop sign and on uh, East Texas back road, you can pull them up. And we were working on pulling one up when the highway patrol pulled up and got out of the car, and I'll never forget, you know, we all started to scramble, and he says, if you make one move, you're a dead man, friend. And that really stuck with me. Now, flash forward to uh, Hermosa Beach, California in 1976. I had a dog named Banjo. It was an incredible dog, and I would never keep him on a leash because... He was smarter than me, and I just didn't feel like it was the right thing to do to put him on a leash. But it so happens in the California beach towns at the time, and probably still today, you don't have your dog on a leash, you're going to get in trouble. Well, as it turns out, my dog Banjo had 46 outstanding leash law violations, and I refused to pay them. So the police came to get me one day, and I just happened to be sitting in the living room working on a song that was going something like, This is a Gone Texas Boogie. So it was a Texas Boogie song. And um, the police came and got me and, you know, took me to jail, put me in jail. But, and I remember my, uh, my first wife at the time, I said, we had some money in, in the house, so I knew she could bail me out but I said take your time bailing me out because I got a good song going and I want to work on it a little bit while I'm in jail so I mean they obliged me and threw me in a jail cell and I got to lay on a, on a steel rail rack and assemble the song in my head and when I got out of jail I went home and it was easy to put together and it that little boogie thing that I was working on became, I ain't living along like this, and all of that's the truth. <laughs>